Hey, hey, everybody. Good morning. Uh, my name is JD of Always and Forever Art. All right, now I am in our art studio here in Illinois. <clears throat> but today uh, we want to do a video on um, just me by myself. What uh, guys want uh, from their spouse or girlfriend? What we really want? What's the number one thing we want most of all? That's what we're going to talk about. Um, so, going forward, the thing that us men want most out of our girlfriend and wives is not intimacy, which is what a lot of people would think. Uh, in my opinion, it's respect. Um, I'll tell you, I can't speak directly out of the mouths of every man in the world, but in my opinion, the number one thing would be respect. Um, now, let me preface that by saying, fellas, that does not mean that you know, your woman can't disagree with you because it's disrespectful. No, uh, they can disagree. They can have their own opinions. They just have to be respectful about how they present it. Um, so, respect is a huge, huge, huge factor with me personally, I know, and from uh, men that I know around in my life, that's the number one thing. Um, <clears throat> men just really, really, really want to be respected. I think it's part of our DNA. Um, and so, uh, with that being said, um, if that's recognized in a relationship, it'll make it a whole lot easier. Um, I know sometimes, you know, our girlfriends or wives are just like, I just don't understand. Um, we're driven by respect. Um, so everything can be done in a respectful manner and that'll help out the relationship and the communication. Um, another th thing about respect is, uh, you have to know your, uh, husband or your boyfriend's love language um, that will help you in how to show respect or, or gratitude uh, for your for your boyfriend or husband or man of that matter. Um, for instance, um, you know if you don't know someone's specific love language and they may have more than one, may have two or three, uh, then it's it's hard to show them that you care in your own love language. So, for instance, I know mine is um, appreciation. Um, and words of encouragement. Those are my two love languages. Uh, my wife's is a little bit different. Hers is quality time and, and gifts. Uh, you know, because she's a woman. He likes gifts. Nah, it's a joke. Don't worry. Uh, but uh, her number one is quality time. Um, so because of that, uh, if my wife was to go out and get me a gift, it wouldn't really mean a whole lot to me. I could take that in an adverse way. Um, that she wouldn't quite understand. But I like to hear, you know, you know, I appreciate you going to work every day and providing for us. Um, those type of things make me feel like she cares so much about me and it makes me feel like she is respectful, uh, that she respects me. It goes back to that word at the beginning. The biggest thing is respect. Um, so that's one of the keys to show, being able to show your man a lot of respect but not taking away from who, the woman that you are or what your beliefs are. Um, knowing your man's love language, knowing their respect is number one on our list, will help out your relationship and your communication a lot. It's the same thing with <clears throat> vice versa. My wife will talk about more about this on hers, um, but uh, your woman's love language may be gifts. So coming home and saying and just saying, "Hey, thanks for you know cooking this meal," may not quite be enough. Does it mean you shouldn't say that? You should most definitely say that. But. Um, you should most definitely say that, uh, but it, it, it's not going to show her how much you love and, and appreciate her necessarily. It may be you have to go out there and get her that jacket or that coat or that pair of shoes that she's wanted for a year just to show and couple that with, you know, I really appreciate everything that you do. I save the money to go out and get you this pair of shoes or to get you this coach purse. Uh, that's something that uh, I think is very important. Um, so, uh, I hope this helps everyone. I'll try to do more and more of these. Um, don't worry. I'll get to the other things other than respect. I just want to do that first because it is number one on most men's list. Respect, respect, respect. It's part of who we are, who we are in our DNA. We're supposed to be leaders. We're supposed to be strong. Um, and so respect is a huge, huge, huge thing. Um, uh, just a little bit more uh, insight. Um, disagreeing is okay. Us men, we actually do enjoy working through problems and getting better. We just fear being disrespected in the process, and we fear the process. Um, so that's important as well. 
So for instance, um, if you need to talk to your husband about something important um, that's important to you, uh, it's about your relationship and your longevity, um, what we hate to hear is we need to talk. Don't know why, we just do. It immediately puts us in defense mode. We immediately feel like we're going to be disrespected or called out. Uh, and then you sit there at the dinner table and you're looking face to face or you sit there at a table and you're looking face to face and you're square. Um, it just, it puts us in, in a bad state of mind. Uh, my best advice is always do that while going on a walk. Uh, do that while paying a pickup game of basketball one on one. Uh, something like that so that we're relaxed while we're talking about it. That's usually how we'll open up the most. Um, it's something as simple as, hey, you know, do you mind coming out here? Um, I'm doing some gardening. Do you mind coming out and helping me out? You know, and while he's shoveling and doing all this stuff, it's a good time to bring it up as well. Um, just the whole sit down face to face, complete silence. We have to talk. That's the worst way to get us to open up. Um, so that's another little tidbit. So remember, uh, it's the approach of the process. Uh, it's about respect. That's what we want the most out of everything else, including intimacy. But we'll get to that another time. I want to say thank you guys for watching Always and Forever Art, Relationships, and Love. I appreciate you. Remember, subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at Always and Forever Art. Um, thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.